Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Hi. You're outside? I'm outside. Is that okay or do you need me to go inside? No, okay. It's good. It's good. At the beginning, it was a little... I need peace and quiet, so I'm... let me go outside. Okay, cool. For sure. Hold on. Let me just fix this real quick. Give me one second. Boom, boom, boom. Are you sipping or is that like a lemonade? Oh, okay, okay. So look, I have a question. Do you want me to refer to Trey as Trey or Larry? What were you calling him? I call him Trey. Okay. But when you're mad, would you say Larry? No, I don't care. No, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. But it's just, I don't know if a lot of people know him as that. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm sure they know his name by now. But it's just annoying because, you know, everything is like Trey's baby mama. Like, uh huh. That's like, that's what I want to ask. My next please. question, if you want to introduce yourself, so do you guys, Kim, Kimberly? If you want to introduce I like, yourself, I like Kimberly, but I mean, I, a lot everyone just says Kim, so it's fine. Okay, okay. So look, we're gonna dive right into it. The first question that I have here, I have a lot of questions here. The first question: What did you see in Mr. Uh, Trey Carter, or like what, like, like how did you guys meet? Like, what was like the story? How did you guys fall in love? So we met on Instagram. Okay. Uh -huh. But I think he, um, I think I posted a, um, like a meme or something on Instagram uh -huh. and he replied to my meme, to my story with like, like an emoji uh -huh. and that's how that started. So you, so you didn't know him through like YouTube or anything? You didn't know him as like a good singer or anything like that? I'm not going to lie. I was a fan. Like I would watch him here and there. Okay. Like, I would listen to his music more than watching him on YouTube. Uh -huh. But yeah. Okay, so then what is it that you saw, like, into Trey, like, to lead into having, like, a baby, if you can get into that? Like, what is it that you wanted to have, like, a baby with Mr. The Larry, you know? Well, what happened was, so, you know, I have my kids, mm -hmm. um, I have boys and girls, so I knew that he wanted, we talked about it, he wanted a kid, and I knew that. Uh -huh. So, I just, me thinking, like, we're going to be together forever, not forever, you know, for a long-ass time. Yeah. Um, I didn't think it was fair for for him. To like, I knew he wanted a kid, so I'm like, I was like so in love with him, so I'm like, let me just give him a kid. Yeah. So that was my thinking, and obviously we talked about it. My tubes are tied, so I was gonna get the reversal, like untie my tube. Yeah. But the doctor that we went to, he's like, it's not a guarantee. So if you just go with IVF, it's more of a guarantee for you to get pregnant. You know. Uh huh. And then so my. We went with IVF. So that's my question on IVF. If you can explain to people that don't really know much about that, if you want to educate, what would that be like? What is the process on that? What is, like what what is that? If you can explain. It's a very long process. Uh -huh. It's a hard process um, because, well, for me, uh -huh. I'm not like you know a lot of people are, are like scared of like needles and stuff like that. That wasn't it for me. Uh huh. As you can see, I have <laughs> a lot of tattoos. Work, but it was more the like. The financial part of it and like the stress and it's just a lot like like my hormones were all over the place uh -huh. that was that was the hard part for me like and then injecting myself with like the oil shots in my booty like that was yeah a lot for me. so you would say it's like a, it was really stressful you would say yes okay yes. and then when is it that you started to notice uh uh or I'm sorry. The next question: Would you? Are you? What about the custody and the child support? Or what are you thinking about that? Um, he knows that I was never gonna go after him. I don't care for child support. Uh huh. But I just the only reason why I'm doing this, and I would, I'm gonna take it to court, uh -huh. is for the not only safety reasons, but more of like having it legit like on paper you know yeah i don't want to have to deal with him like talking or i don't want to i just rather deal with the courts and by saying it doing it the right way i just want to like i said just have it on paper yeah because cause you would I say he's a little like, may, but, maybe he's a little like unstable is that what his decisions is that what you're saying maybe that's why all of the above not only unstable but it's not i don't get consistency so yeah you know if it's on paper it's like 
you will you'll see your child i mean his mom would probably take over but whatever uh-huh. you know but it's just it's more of a it's like enforced so yeah it's, it's gonna happen okay and then when did you start no- uh, noticing like the red flags like what was like the turning point for you uh like with trey like what was like the red flag for you mostly there was a lot of red flags i was just me being a dummy i was just ignoring all the red flags uh-huh. <laughs> really the love but, yeah, it was just love. It was just love for me. Like, I was just ignoring and trying to bypass all that. I was just like, let me just, you know, put up with it and maybe he'll change. Maybe this, maybe that, but no. Uh-huh. And then I know, I heard in your video that you were saying that he was abusive. Would that would that be like before you were pregnant, after, or what was that? Um, It was honestly a little before my pregnancy. Uh-huh. And um, it was in the beginning of my pregnancy. And... Yeah, that was pretty much. And then um, just recently, the last time he was over my place, uh-huh. he got really ugly again. And we're both sitting there fucking throwing jabs. Like, if you're going to put hands on me, yeah. and this is what I, like, I don't, like, if he's going to put hands on me, I'm going to defend myself. So of course. I'm going to go at it like it's two bitches fighting. You yeah. Know? So. Were you grabbing his hair with his healthy curls or what was going on there? <laughs> oh, I was doing, I, we were doing it all. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right back and forth. He was pulling mine, I was pulling his. Like, <laughs> okay. Like, he, he's very right when he says it's toxic. We cannot be together. So. Okay. And is that, what is it, what is your guys' signs? What would you guys say for all the people that like Zodiacs for my videos? What's Trey's and then what's your Zodiac? I'm a Virgo and he's a Cancer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then I have a question here. And this in the most respectful way because I was getting this asked a lot in my Q&A. It was mostly about hygiene. If there was a Dorito smell going on or if he's, is his hygiene good? A Doritos smell? That, that's what the comments were saying. He smell like Doritos, cheese, mozzarella, all this other stuff. So, it, would you say his hygiene's good? Um, yeah. Or no comment? No comment. Okay. I was just saying, yeah, no comment. Okay, good. And then, um, I also heard you mention something about uh, therapy. So, he went to therapy classes, or what was that about? Yeah, so I, as a good girlfriend that uh-huh. I was, I looked into online classes for him Mm -hmm. um and i like without even telling him because when i would mention it like his family knows like you cannot get someone help that does not want the help like his family tries to you know get him help and if he doesn't want it or he's in denial thinking he doesn't need it it's not gonna happen so i googled classes and i set all this whole thing up for him this on his app everything i did everything and i was like you know what like your classes are going to start here, pick your therapist, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, okay, cool. He's just went with the flow. Yeah. And yeah, so I paid for a few months. I paid for therapy online for him. And yeah. And you mentioned uh, about the, the, the family. What would you say your relationship would be uh, like with the mom, if you can speak about the mom? And then also Mr. iPad Elijah after. His relationship? Oh, mine? Yeah, your, your relationship with uh, Trey Carter's mom and then Elijah. So I, for the most part, get along. Like, everything's been cool with me and his mom. Like, we get along for the most part. Uh Um, We've been texting. um, My whole pregnancy, she's been there. She's cool. Like, I get along with her. I love her. But, like I said, I feel like he's going to ruin that because I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's lying. I don't know who's lying. But it's a lot of going back and forth, and I don't don't mess around with that. Like, Uh if you're going to put me in that, like, I'd rather just get myself out of it and, like, yeah, like I said, I don't need, I like, even when it comes to friends, like, I'm still, like, I don't, I stop talking to a lot of people, and I'm still cutting people off, uh-huh. because I just don't, I have a very small circle, like, I don't kiss ass, I don't go out of my way, like, I don't do anything if I feel some type of way, so, yeah, with the mom, the last time I talked to her, like I said, was, like, um, a little after Mother's Day, mm-hmm. and with all this thing going, I don't know what's going on, like, she would tell me, oh, I don't talk to him, I haven't talked to him, now she's talking to him, and I feel like now they're ganging up on me talking about me i don't know yeah. what's going on okay but yeah and then what about and elijah elijah like um i i mean i we're cool or we were cool i, I really don't care like, okay. like i said what i had to say and i don't i don't take anything back like i don't care if he stopped talking to me or if he stopped liking me or fucking with me i don't care uh-huh. i really don't so Okay, and then uh, my next question I have here: Did you have any prior knowledge uh, about like uh, Alondra Desi in the of his previous relationship? Um, I'm getting that a lot, and I did um, a little bit. I mean, from 
I'm watching like their YouTube videos from the past, you know, before, like when I was uh -huh. a fan of Trays or whatever. Um, I did see a little bit here and there, but not so I didn't dig into anything like that. So I I just thought it was like YouTube, they're pranking or it's fake uh -huh. or I didn't really think it was that deep, you know? Oh so until you until I was already with him uh -huh. and I heard stories from the family. Oh. From the family. So okay. then that's when I was like, oh shit, that really happened or this happened, you know? That's when I started learning more. But before me and Trey started dating, not really. Oh, so you weren't really like into like all his videos or seeing maybe like a Alondra's yeah. breakup video? Okay. I was more into his music. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you're for like... For whatever reason, don't attack me, don't come for me. <laughs> I was about to ask, but you know what? No comment towards that, but... Um... I was a good... I, I understand. Like, I like, yeah. I just supported everything yeah. he did. You know, and I just had his back. And then when people, you know, like just recently, when he was at my house recently, um, people were coming for me and not fucking with me anymore, like my supporters and uh -huh. my people, because they're like, oh, you're back with Trey. Oh, this and that. So, you know, I was like, oh, fuck, they really are not fucking with me. Yeah. Anymore. Now, uh, my question, if you if you uh, can get into, what is it the things that he would say with the laundry? Like, what was the, the, the whole obsession about? The honest truth, just recently, uh -huh. he told me to my face, he said, I don't want to be with this fucking girl. Like, I don't want her back. I'm trolling. Uh -huh. That's all I'm doing. Because when he was at my house, I don't know for those three weeks, if you guys even noticed, but he wasn't posting other girls on his Instagram. He was uh -huh. like respecting me, right? So he wasn't doing that. But he did go on live one day when he was outside of my house in his car smoking and he talked about aloe or whatever. So when he comes back in, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, uh -huh. you know, so I was like, you're not doing that if you're going to be in my house, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, I already told you I'm just fucking trolling. I don't give a fuck about that bitch. I don't <laughs> want her. Like, you know, he's just talking shit, basically saying, I don't want her. I'm just trolling. Like, yeah. if everybody else trolls, why can't Trey Trey troll? Like, uh -huh. he's like, that's all I'm doing. Like, it's, um, it's giving me, you know, the attention I want. It's getting him views. Like, why not? So basically, that was his answer, so... So he was just doing it as a he was doing it as a joke because he came on my video kind of making it seem like he was super in love with her and I took everything with a grain of salt when I interview people I just let them you know kind of talk like a chicken you know they could do whatever they need to do and then people yeah. people people are gonna determine it's not me you know picking sides so he, it kind of seemed like in the video he was uh like in love and it wasn't for like a joke I guess. And we know why it's very obvious like we know why he was doing that because you know a lot of your supporters are her supporters and yeah. a lot of fans are hers you know so he of course he was doing it because he was on your platform uh -huh. but i also have a question like, even before the platform i think there is a live i'm not too quite sure i think i remember him seeing saying that alondra was truly i guess the love of his life was that like when he was on drugs or something or, or like, you think it's still part of the joke that he was playing part of the whatever he's doing like he's gonna say that for clout he's uh -huh. gonna say he needs Aloe's name for clout like yeah. he's so irrelevant now like of course he's gonna use her name uh -huh. for you know yeah just like some people are using his name and his friendship and his attention for clout uh -huh. you know that's, yeah it's just that's that's just the way it works. Yeah, I understand. And uh, what are your thoughts on his uh, his new girlfriend that's going on? There's like a new girl involved now that she got they got a haircut going on for Trey. What do you think about the haircut and the new girlfriend? You love it? I, I think it's a joke, personally. Uh -huh. um, it's not his girlfriend. He, like I said, he would never claim this girl. He's using her. That's all he's doing. He's using her. Um, just like... I feel like he was using me too the last... When he was here the last time. Like, uh -huh. literally to shower in my house. Like... Get the Honestly, Doritos off, huh? When he, was, when he was over at my house, uh -huh. I would ask him because um, he was staying on his friend's couch, his friend Antonio's couch. Yeah. And, I, and Antonio's girlfriend does not like Trey. So I'm like, um, he's like, oh, I've been staying in my car recently, just like lately the, the last couple of days. And I'm like, why? And he's like, oh, because his girl really don't fuck with me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah. So then I'm like, so what do you do to like shower or like brush your teeth? Or even I was like, what do you do when you need to like, take a shit what do you do <laughs> like oh well there's a starbucks nearby like i just go to starbucks like that's how bad it is like so what do you think it's so obvious to the people that he's using this girl for you know to spend the time with her like he has nothing better to do okay so he's using her to stay at her house to shower to take shits like it's so <laughs> obvious like and i'm pretty sure she's been like treating him like buying food and stuff uh -huh. and, you know and then 
I mean, of course, there's times where he gets paid from YouTube or his music, so maybe he'll treat Ben, but... Or Instacart he's tips. A, he's such a low life, And, like, like I said, he would never claim her. That's not his type. Like, uh -huh. even when he was at my house recently, he even mentioned her. Because we were talking about some other girl that he was hanging out with, and they're both, like, both of the girls are, like, chubby. Uh -huh. On the heavier side. So he was like, fuck no, those bitches are fat, like... Like, uh -huh. no, like, he would, he would fuck her, but he would never date her. So they want to make it seem like, oh, they're just friends. No, they're fucking, uh -huh. but they wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't claim her. Like, he would never say, that's my girlfriend. I'm like, yeah, no, that's not his type. Okay, he, yeah, she, she was. Andrew, let me ask you this. Do you really think he was never in love with me? Can you answer that? I think, I think there's a chance he was in love with you. There's a chance. <laughs> he's still in love with me. He's that... still in love with me, but he's going to sit there and be like no why why do you think he's saying he's not because he feels so fucking stupid uh -huh. that i've been hanging out with joe like you don't want to look dumb on here like he's gonna be like oh joe could have her i was never in love with her anyways <laughs> yeah like, boys, that was my next that's my next question you and joe if you can get it, what's going on with that you guys are like just talking friends or is there actual no, something we're, we're, we hang out okay a lot. Okay, okay. And um, my next question, this is actually a juicy question. Do you know what happened with him and, like, the whole Ace family? Because if you remember back then, they used to be, like, really close. Did he ever, like, mention, like, why they stopped, I guess, messing out or messing with him? Um, no. Honestly, I think they're still friends. Uh -huh. But when it comes to them, that family, like, he's told me so much uh -huh. about them and, like, so much on, like, I know a lot. Uh-huh. Is what I'm trying to say. And... I honestly, like, yeah, he told me, like, oh, what's his name? Um, What's his name? The Double Dipper Austin McBroom? Yes, okay. he says, like, oh, yeah, he cheats on his girl left and right. Uh -huh. Nothing new. That's never going to stop. <laughs> uh, and I'm not even, like, I'm not lying. I don't yeah. lie. And um, that's nothing new, though, so we already knew this. Um, What else am I going to say? What about, what about oh, the mermaid? I honestly feel like, I feel like Trey's, like, in love with Catherine low key. Like I really feel like he's I don't I don't know. I feel like he's the way he be talking about her uh -huh. and I know a few things and like he even when he first left my house when I was so pregnant, he's over here bragging to somebody. I'm not gonna say who. Uh -huh. Bragging bragging to somebody, showing them their phone, talking about, Oh look, Catherine said I love you or blah blah blah. I guess they were having a conversation on their DMs. Yeah. And Catherine said, oh, I love you, too, or I love you. And he's, like, playing a joke. He was the Lulu. He was the Lulu, huh? Huh? He was a little yeah. about the, the Lulu? Yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I feel like he low-key really likes that girl. So he's, like, has, like, a crush on her, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh... That's his sister, he would never, but okay. You can't even... You can't trust Trey. Like, I don't know if you heard, he fucking... Him and his dad don't even get along because he fucked his dad's girlfriend. Oh, what? Some white girl, Alice, he fucked, and, um, yeah. Is that why the dad wanted to send him to juvie or jail? Is that what I heard, too, that the dad wanted to send him to I don't know why that happened. Honestly, I have no juice on that, but I know that, um, around, well, actually, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, him and his dad literally got down, like, put hands on each other, and his dad fucking beat his ass. And I think it was because that night, he... He tried to grab the dad's girlfriend's boob. Uh huh. I don't know. That's what I. That's what I know. Uh -huh. So yeah. So he for sure fucked that girl. Oh wow! What a freak of the week. And any final messages uh, that you have to say? That's all my questions. So anything else that you want to say? That was it. That know. was, I mean, I, they sent a lot of uh, uh, Instagram questions, but I narrowed it down to, like, uh, like the best ones. But if you have anything, any other comments to add to the discussion, you can add that. Or how did you get involved in the cheese? How did you learn about the uh, art page? Oh, I mean, that I, is there anything I want to add? I'm sure I should have been ready with my stuff, but that I, something I can, just the top of my head, I can't really think right now. No? Okay. So we're going to leave it at that. Maybe if there's anything else that you want to add in the future, we'll come back to it. But I'm going to wrap up the video. I'll try to have the video out today. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. So we'll do a part two next time. Yeah, but we need more juice. Uh, definitely part two. Uh, but I'll hit you up again. But thank you so much right. for joining. Good. Have a nice day. All right. Have a good one.